Welcome to this video. Today we will learn about tangent to a circle. Can you recognize these shapes? Identify them by pausing the video. Now match your answers. This is the triangle. This is a parallelogram. This is a rectangle, square, kite, rhombus, pentagon and this is a circle. In your previous class, we learned about all these shapes thoroughly. But today, we will discuss briefly on circles. Can you tell me, what is a circle? We learned in the previous class that circle is a collection of all points which are at a constant distance from a fixed point in a plane. The fixed point is called the center of the circle and the fixed distance is called the radius of the circle. If we increase the length of this radius to the left, then we get a line which intersects the circle at two points and passes through the center. Such a line in a circle is called the diameter of the circle. Also, in our last class, we learned about chord of a circle. Segment of a circle Arc of a circle And sector of a circle What can you see in this figure? Absolutely right! In this figure, we see a boy playing with two sticks and a wheel. If we represent the wheel by a circle, the wheel marks and the sticks by lines, then we get a figure like this. Observe this figure. What can you say about the circles and the lines here? There are three possibilities of the arrangements of circle and lines. In the first case, the line, say PQ, does not coincide with the circle at any point. In this case, line PQ is a non-intersecting line with respect to the circle. In the second case, a line, say RS, intersects the circle at two points, that is M and N. In such case, we call the line RS secant of the circle. In the third case, the line, say UV, intersects the circle at only one point. In this case, UV is called the tangent of the circle and the point common to the line and the circle is called the point of contact. Hence, we can say that the line which intersects the circle at only one point is known as the tangent to a circle. Can you draw any other line on this circle passing through the point M? Let's give it a try. From the point M, let's draw some lines on the circle. You can see that all the lines intersect the circle at a point other than point M. So, all these lines are the secant lines of the circle. But, the line PQ intersects the circle at only one point, M. It is the tangent of the circle at point M. So, from this activity, we can conclude that there can be only one tangent passing through a point of a circle. Also, if you look here, you can observe that on bringing all other lines except PQ to the position of PQ, the common point of the respective line and the circle gradually comes closer to the common point M and ultimately it coincides with the point M. 
With this, we get to know that the tangent to a circle is a special case of the secant when the two endpoints of its corresponding chord coincide. Can you tell me how many tangents can a circle have? Think about this question. We will discuss it in our next video. Today in this video, we learned The line that intersects the circle at only one point is called a tangent to a circle. The common point of the circle and the tangent is called the point of contact. At a point, there is only one tangent to the circle. The tangent to a circle is a special case of the secant when the two endpoints of its corresponding chord coincide. In the next video, we will learn about some more interesting facts related to tangents.